Hey, what's up guys, this is Mario, back again with another YouTube video. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about Blinkstock. This is an EV charging company. They do have a network of charging stations all over, country, all over the country to charge your electronic car. Now, the reason I wanna talk about this company is because General Motors, one of the largest auto manufacturer, manufacturers in the country, just announced a partnership with seven electronic vehicle charging network companies and Blink is one of them. Uh, so I'm gonna go over all those details of that partnership. I'm also gonna go over the Blink uh, Shark, uh, the technical analysis, a little bit more about the fundamental. Uh, Blink uh, Shark of the stock actually has a over 40% short interest. So there is a possibility of a short squeeze in the near term. Uh, so I'm gonna go over those levels. I am gonna go over some entry levels that I'm looking at. Uh, and also, as well, I'm also going to be looking at some profit taking levels. Now I did buy Blink in my long-term account. Uh, so I will go over in terms of the levels that I got in. Now, if you have any questions about this video about Blink stock or this partnership, please let me know down below in the YouTube comments. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to this YouTube channel. I do post new videos every single week talking about company stocks, crypto, anything that's moving in the markets in the, as, as recent. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe, guys. All right, let me share my screen and let's get started, okay? All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to quickly share my screen. And then I'm actually going to quickly jump to the to the chart uh, because I want to show you guys these levels. Um, we had this huge move, this short squeeze right here on Blink. Uh, this was uh, no, uh, November, early November of 2020. And we had a huge trend. It's, this was pretty much when Tesla, Neo, all these electronic vehicles or all these EV stocks were moving. And we had this huge pullback uh, once the, the NASDAQ and tech uh, started to get hit. And this 30 level held very well and is hovering above that level, which is very good indication of support that's holding very well. Uh, the EV sector as a whole is holding pretty well. Um, if you kind of look at uh, Tesla, uh, again, it's, it's held the 600 pretty well. It's kind of trending. It did pull back recently. We have NEO as well, another leader in the space. Uh, and it, and it kind of like is hovering a well, uh, very good around this 34 level. And it's kind of starting to trend. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> you have other stocks like Lazar, <coughs> PRTS, Nikola, uh, Lee. They all look like they're bottoming out and they're, they're holding support right now, even workhorse. So to me, that tells me uh, even actually uh, this charge point, uh, there's, an, there's another uh, uh, actually charging station company, this 20 held very, very well. So this pretty much telling me the support is, is pretty much almost there. Um, we just need a catalyst to kind of really push these stocks to the next level. And right now, what I do see is that Neo just reported earnings report had an earnings report today after hours. Uh, we're just waiting for the uh, conference call to see what they say, any good news on the company. If we have some good news, I think this could really push Blink and other uh, EV stocks as well. So going back to Blink, um, I, I kind of want to, uh, first of all, go over uh, a little bit more of the fundamental story uh, as well as a news announcement. Uh, and then I'm going to go over some levels and, and where I got in, things like that, uh, and exit levels as well. So what I want to do now, let me show you a little bit more about the story. Uh, so here's some of the news uh, on the investors uh, website, um, which is IBD investors daily website, uh, GM, which is general motors teams up with these electric vehicle charging networks. General motors has teamed up with several major electric charging networks to offer customers access to 60,000 plugs across the U S and Canada, but blink charging stock and other, other EVs, uh, EV charging stocks, uh, pretty much, pretty much not moving as, as well. They, they kind of they felt, but GM signed an agreement with, with uh, seven major uh, charging providers as Blink Charging, uh, Charge Point, EV uh, Go, EV Connect, Flow, Green Lots, and Sema Connect. Now, I'm gonna go straight uh, to the uh, investor <clears throat> investor relations uh, page, uh, press releases on General Motors website, and I'm gonna go over more about the details. So <clears throat> according to this, uh, this again, this was pretty much released uh, April the 28th, which is yesterday. So to put everybody in an electrical vehicle, GM introduces the Altium Charge 360, 
uh, Altium uh, Charge 360 will integrate charging networks, DM vehicle mobile apps, and other products and services to simplify customer charging experience. Uh, GM collaborates with seven major charging networks to offer customers more seamless access to 60,000 plugs across the U.S. and Canada. GM and e EVgo launched first ultra ready fast charger, approximately 500 fast charging installs to go live by the end of 2021. So uh, let's go pretty much uh, with a little bit more about the details. All right. So um, Altium Charge 360 is a holistic charging experience offering access to charging. So GM will continue to work uh, with a variety of third parties, including charge point operators, electric utilities, government agencies, uh, to make home, workplace, public, and free charging ubiquitous uh, to for customers. Mobile apps, uh, GM will continue to update the GM vehicle mobile apps to provide an even more intuitive mobile experience that makes uh, navigating to a charging station, plugging into a charger, and paying for charging simple. Uh, products and services. Uh, to help ensure the transition to an EV is seamless, GM is working to offer EV owners charging accessories and installation services tailored to their lifestyle. For example, GM will cover installation of level two charging capabilities for Alger cu customers who purchase or lease a 2022 Bolt or a Bolt EV. Uh, so in collaboration with QMerit. Uh, so in addition to introducing Altium Charge 360, GM also announces continued progress on its EV infrastructure strategy. Uh, so pretty much GM has now signed an agreement with seven major uh, per charging providers, including Blink Charging, ChargePoint, EV Connect, EV Go, Flow, Greenlot, and Sema Connect. Uh, through uh, their GM vehicle mobile apps, EV customers will soon be able to easily see real-time information from nearly 60,000 charging plugs throughout the U.S. and Canada to find stations along the route and initiate pay for charging. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, pretty, pretty, in pretty interesting, guys. So I guess the main point, guys, uh, is that pretty much all the... Um, all the, uh, the uh, GM uh, electric vehicle owners, like the Bolt and, and very soon the Cadillac and even the Hummer, which are pretty much have an electric version now, they're gonna be able to use uh, their mobile apps um, to, to, uh, that's connected to the GM mobile app to find these electric charging stations that again, will include Blink and others. Now, the reason why I'm focused on Blink in terms of the stock and not ChargePoint and others, because majority of the other uh, charging station companies are privately owned. Uh, ChargePoint is the only other uh, uh, charging EV charging state company that is actually public, but I do not like their shard. I really think uh, Blink's shard is smoother and volume looks a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the, the shard and kind of show you guys the, the levels and entries and exits that I'm looking at. Um, so and, and looking, looking into it um, right now, um, Actually, let me let me add. Uh, I want to add uh, the. Uh, I do want to add the moving averages because uh, because the moving averages do help uh, in terms of see the trend. So the trend does look pretty much intact. It is creating uh, higher lows, higher lows. Um, we're definitely just waiting for this pretty much to break. Uh, I am waiting for this kind of level, which is the, the forty, to kind of break. So for me, breaking this 40 is confirmation that this trend is going to continue. Again, I really think a lot of this has to, is going to have to do with how uh, Neo reacts after their earnings uh, conference call. So, so far right now, we had their earnings, which they beat, they did really well, but we're waiting on conference call. So hopefully we get like any uh, forward-looking statements that are really good or any future uh, uh, earnings that might be, you know, higher than expected, things like that. So we're waiting for that. Now, going back to Blink Chart. Overall, the the chart looks uh, good in the in the in the in the daily. Again, the forty is is, is an area that I'm looking to break. I did end up buying uh, Blink around thirty eight. Um, I am holding for a longer move or a longer swing. And if it does pull back and if it does break below thirty four, I'm going to see it to see if it, it, it holds at thirty. If it does not hold thirty, I'm I'm, I'm getting out. Uh, but uh, I do see this a momentum play uh, uh, now. 
if this thing starts to kind of trend and start to make a move again, the reason why I, I do believe that there's a possibility is just because the way this, the chart is setting up, it's consolidating and it's getting a really tight range. And also <clears throat> it's because it has a high short interest. So uh, the float is 30 million, which is kind of low. Anything below 50 million share uh, float is actually very, very low, <clears throat> which could cause, it could easily cause a short squeeze. Uh, now you add, you couple that with the 44% short flow, meaning that 40% of the shares in uh, Blink are actually short. That could cause a tremendous short squeeze in the stock. And that's what I'm uh, pretty much hoping for. Uh, so uh, it does have a lot of volume in terms of a, a, a daily average volume. We're looking at 6 million uh, volume a day. So that's pretty good. There's a plan of liquidity. Uh, in terms of uh, some of the uh, re most recent uh, analyst upgrades or, uh, or in initiates, uh, we have here that a March 9 Cohen, uh, one of the uh, investment banks did um, initiate um, Blink as an, uh, for form with a price target of 38. But even before that, on February 5th, there was another uh, investment firm uh, called Roth Capital. They actually upgraded to a buy with a target at 67. So we're gonna have to see how this plays out. Uh, so right now, again, I am having my levels. 40 is definitely a confirmation. That's an area, if it breaks 40 with volume, definitely an area that I will consider adding. If it breaks below uh, 30, I'm getting out. But if we do have some continuation, I do see 50 in an area to take some profits. And I do see the all-time high 64.50 as an area to really get out or, or take some uh, another uh, chunk of the profits. But these momentum plays are very short-lived. Um, this pretty much trend actually lasted for a while, it lasted for uh, it's November, uh, December, uh, January, February. So, so that's like three months. So there might be a possibility if the sector starts moving again. I know Biden is, Biden, President Biden is friendly towards the whole EV sector, environmentally friendly companies. So a lot of these companies could start moving. So, um, let me know what you guys think about this video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns about Blink on the YouTube comments down below. As a reminder, guys, all these videos are for learning and entertainment purposes. Don't forget that. Hey, hey, don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe, guys. Okay, see you guys soon. Take care.